The scripture they keep sending me is, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I need y'all to hear me though. They did not say the weapon, weapons will not form. And that's the part I didn't hear until recently. Welcome to Bring Your Babs, Being The Now. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. Today, we'll be digging deeper about Fanny Willis. Fanny Willis, she's a DA out in Georgia. Right now, she's, I don't know, we cannot call it a trial. I guess, I don't know, she's in court because um, she is the one who is um, prosecuting the Donald Trump case about the Georgia voter fraud election so but she was caught in a situation where by mm, it does not look good because it's unethical she denies the allegations but the stuff is in court so innocent until proven guilty as they say but funny with is she's been going around to churches to plead her case okay so unless you haven't been following about the news this is what transpired she is a da so she gave the case to her boyfriend so obviously that does not look good so now they want to ascertain was this up and up because it doesn't look good or were you giving the case to your boyfriend to get some kickbacks things of that nature so the story the um the case is ongoing but she decided to go to church okay and we're just going to share with you that way you can see what transpired uh, to this church. I do not understand because the church she went to is actually a seven-day Adventist. <laughs> I used to be a seven-day Adventist. It does not make any sense. Like, okay, I know. Like, why would a seven-day Adventist host Fanny Willis? For what reason? For what purpose? Not only that, they ended up giving her an award. So let's just uh, take a listen that way you hear exactly what transpired without further ado here we go are delighted today amen that da fanny willis has consented to be here with us to come and to be a part of our worship experience she's not a stranger to berean her daughter went to our school just across the way because when you are in that arena and when you are engaged in the work that she is engaged with especially with individuals who have all kinds of powers and connections and so forth it is a challenge a daunting challenge and yet and still under God and through the grace of God, sustaining and strengthening her, she pressed on and pressed forward. So this time, they're going to invite her to come and they're going to invite. Come on, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. Come on, amen, amen, amen. She is one of us. Amen. Praise be to God. <laughs> she is one of us. I notice the name of the church is Berean. It's Berean Seventh Day Adventist Church out in Georgia. Okay, so what are you guys doing? Okay, if you need to change your name, because you cannot be a church that's called Berean and you have the audacity, the nerve on the Sabbath bringing in funny wheels for what reason? For what purpose? Hmm? But let's watch in. Okay, she went all there, all dressed up. Okay, Lady Fanny Willis is in the house, yo. <laughs> all right, let's continue. Praise God. Praise God. Let me tell you something that I've learned very, very recently because you may need this lesson as well. You know, people keep sending me scriptures, and I, and I appreciate those scriptures, but different people from all different walks of life keep sending me this one scripture, and I don't think I ever really heard it till to maybe two days ago. You, people send you stuff, you read them, they just kind of become things you recite, but you don't really think about what they say. The scripture they keep sending me is, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I need y'all to hear me though. They did not say the weapon, weapons will not form. And that's the part I didn't hear until recently. <laughs> funny, 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 funny. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. I kind of like her. <laughs> I kind of like her. So, uh, where have you been? Even people who are not Christians, they know this scripture. Okay? Isaiah, what, Isaiah 54, uh, verse 70. 
everybody knows the scripture so funny doesn't know about this scripture okay then that tells me that this sister she's not in the church she's just going to these churches just using these churches okay because everybody knows that scripture no no weapon formed against me shall prosper and i don't like her ex jesus over there okay <laughs> where she says like oh no this the, the text does not say that the weapons are not going to be formed <laughs> you gotta give it to her okay yes that is true it doesn't say that the weapons are not going to be formed absolutely the weapons are going to be formed but the weapons are not going to prosper but she is taking that out of context it's got nothing to do uh with fun willies to begin with okay but given the situation that she's in she can use the scripture and get away with it okay but we'll uh, we'll dive more about it but uh let's listen in okay Berean seven day adventist i mean this i'm not happy about this okay <laughs> just because they won't prosper it doesn't mean that they won't form even if you feel like everything you are doing in your life is the right thing and you're making mistakes all along the way but you're trying you should not think that those weapons will not form the other lesson that i've learned in this three years is god ordains those weapons he puts those weapons in your life to form against you and if you really understand him you become in your maturity to understand he does it for a reason and it's to grow you, and it's to make you stronger, and it is to prepare you. And so my only request from this family today is, this is a really hard job I'm trying to do. And I am an imperfect human being, but I can literally feel the people who loves me's prayers. If just every now and again, you'll throw my name in a prayer, God hears his children. I would very much appreciate that. So I thank you for this honor today um, because it is an honor worth having when it comes from a group of people such as the people that worship here. So thank you. Today, we welcome you. This is our Black History Achievement Award presented to Fulton County District Attorney, Fonnie Willis. In appreciation for outstanding service rendered to our church and to our community. This is sent today, February 17, 2024, our lead pastor, Dr. Sherwin Jack. We love you. Another very special gift for you, the Conflict of Ages series. The Conflict of the Ages series is a set of books that chronicles the struggle between Satan and Jesus Christ. We know that this will be an invaluable addition to your home library. Okay, so I'm sure that must be a book by Ellen G. White that they're giving to Fanny Willis. I wish they had given her a Bible. I think that would be appropriate to give her a gift as a Bible. Well, if they decide to give somebody an award and everything, I'm not fine. They can give the award, Black History Month, to whosoever they win. But they cannot be bringing Fanny Willis in the church pretending as if nothing has happened, okay? Fanny Willis, the situation that she's, uh, that she's in right now, this is not an example of the person you should be giving an award to let alone on a sabbath in the church and just making like okay you know this is not a big deal and the funny says like okay yes i make a mistake and everything i said no to my you know like the guy you were with is not your husband okay and you guys you know according to the court records and the thing that both of them testified okay testify they are having some you know uh the things that only married people should be doing so already she has shown poor judgment whether she's a christian or not the scripture is clear so we go by what the bible teaches right so now you have a church that's called berean that's entertaining all this but you gotta give it to her yes the text she used fine the way she exegetes, okay that doesn't mean the weapons are not going to be formed that's correct however that's specific okay this is god is a god of peace god is going to protect his people even though other people are going to put in traps for you, they, you you're going to be tried, you're going to uh, be these temptations and everything. In our eyes, in the world, people are going to look like, okay, they've been successful, but they will not be successful. They're not going to be successful because there will be a day of final judgment and the judge of all the earth will do what is right. You can use a scripture till cows come home. It does not apply to you. 
at all. It does not apply to you. It sounds good. But it does not apply to you. And this is not the only church that decided to, uh, you know, celebrate Fanny Willis, shall we call it. Ida B. Wells, and we thank God uh, for Mary McLeod Bethune, and we thank God uh, for Rosa Parks. Amen. Uh, but I believe that our children, our children and our grandchildren are going to recognize another name in black history. Uh, and I want you to all week long, I want you to pray uh, for our own sister who's in a fight uh, for this nation and fighting for the soul of this country. Uh, would you join me in thanking God for the living heroine of uh, Sister Fanny, who is doing an amazing... Oh, come on, come on, come on. I want her to know we got her back and that uh, uh, we are standing in the gap uh, with and uh, for her. Amen. Uh, let me say what she said. She is not on trial. Uh, she is not on trial. But whenever uh, you are a brilliant black women, woman, uh, the white infrastructure gets nervous and don't know how to take it. Uh, but I need you all to do me a favor. I got some brilliant black women in this building. Uh, would you cheer for them? Come on. Amen thankful for her life and thankful uh, for her witness and uh, she had no choice but to be a strong black woman because uh, she was raised by a Kappa man. She had to. Uh, she had to become something significant uh, and something important and I am uh, so grateful. All right. So that is Jamal Bryant. And this is so embarrassing but it's not surprising coming from Jamal Bryant and this idea of just elevating women unnecessarily so we we are to celebrate women when they deserve it okay absolutely but uh the situation that funny Willis has found herself in to be quite honest it's not something that should be elevated let alone in church let alone in church that's not a place for it if anything she has been a district attorney for quite some time how come these churches didn't give their word to um Fanny Willis, okay, when she became a district attorney. Because, you know, that's a big deal for sure. Why didn't they give it to her then? Why didn't they uh, praise her then for holding that particular office? Why didn't they do it now? So they're specifically doing it now because she's in court. She's fighting this um, this case. She's prosecuting this case. But her life is all a mess and everything. Things that are in contradiction with what the scripture teaches. If anything, no, we need to be calling funny ways to repent and believe the gospel. Those are the things that these churches should be doing. Not giving her words, not praising her, doing all these things. So other women can see those things and aspire to that, that, okay, I want to be a district attorney and then find myself uh, sleeping around with men who are not my husband. Come on. You know what I mean? And she's out there, you know, rah, rah, rah. I mean, like, oh, she is a feminist for sure. So to me, I'm like, no, there are better examples that we can, uh, we can showcase for women, for young girls. But uh, Fanny Willis is not one of them. It's not one of them. All right, but I'm interested to know what you guys think about this whole debacle. It's still ongoing. Do you think, what do you think is going to happen? I'm curious. If you ask me, I mean, I've watched the case. I don't think the Trump have proved, the Trump team, they've proven their case, uh, legally speaking. And uh, we're going to see uh, what's going to, uh, you know, what's going to happen. But yeah. It is very interesting. It is very interesting. Shameful for the Berean uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church. And shame, 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 shame on Jamal Bryant. All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until next time, remember to be in the now. Thank you.